that reward inching up in just a few hours now over $23,000 for information leading to the arrest of that shooter. It has been gathered by various pastors and community activists and others looking to break that code of silence. Meanwhile, that one-year-old toddler still fighting for his life. Still on life support, the family of one-year-old Dijon Walker holds a vigil at his bedside as the search continues for the gunman responsible for the drive-by shooting that left the toddler in critical condition. All he need now is prayers, prayers from everybody. The child remains in intensive care after he was shot in the head during an attack which happened Thursday night in the city's Longwood Manor neighborhood. The family of the boy, who they also called Chase, says the child was in an SUV with his grandmother, mother, older brother, and a cousin when shots rang out. Witnesses tell police the group had stopped at a family member's home in the 9900 block of South Troop Street when a dark-colored older model sedan pulled up next to the parked vehicle. Someone inside then opened fire, striking the little boy in the head twice. His grandmother rushed him to a nearby hospital. He was eventually transferred to Comer Children's Hospital. Who's going to call in and give up the information on the shooter? But detectives say after working around the clock on the investigation, they now believe the shooting was not random. The child's devastated family said earlier they thought the attack was a case of mistaken identity. This afternoon, outrage over the shooting has prompted the offering of several rewards for information leading to an arrest. I think all of us should be traumatized. Meanwhile, the family of Dijon Walker pleads for the violence to end as they hope and pray for a miracle. Well, I want them to recover and live a great life. But, you know, if the lowest ain't different, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, the uh, family still staying bedside, uh, holding vigil for this little boy. In the meantime, police continuing their investigation, still looking for that shooter. But so far, no one in custody and no arrests have been made.